What's up guys, Chris Roder here. Out getting the workout late in again tonight. Kind of fell behind on the tasks for the day. But you know what, it's still gotta be done even if I gotta work out my second one at 1 a.m. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Um, guys, I wanted to make a video today. Um, it was on my mind and I, I spoke with somebody earlier about this and they really got a ton of value from it. So I figured I'd just make um, a little bit longer video about it because I think it's really important to know, to understand the difference. So there is a massive difference between earning money and then earning capacity. Okay, so I wanna explain this really quick and provide a ton of uh, value here. So um, I was talking to a guy earlier today um, you know, who was interested in, you know, reselling electronics and things like that. And, you know, he kept bringing up the, 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 um, you know, I want to make more money. I want to make more money. You know, we all do, you know, right. And I kind of stopped him and I was like, look, you should absolutely be focused on obviously earning more money, but let me kind of change it a little bit here. Start focusing more on your earning capacity, so let me explain the difference here. Earning money is earning money. There, you know, it's, it, it is what it is, right? Earning capacity, however, is increasing your skill sets to make more money. Okay, now let me break this down. Let me give you guys a full example of this. When I started phone flipping and reselling electronics, one thing I did was I just did it to make more money, right? I did it as a side hustle. I did it you know, to grow and do different things like that. When I really uh, started diving into learning and increasing my capacity to earn, that's when things changed, changed massively. So what is earning capacity? Earning capacity, or the, earning capacity is how many different ways you can make money. That right there will change your life. So let me give you guys a couple examples. I started flipping phones and electronics in 2016, 2017. Um, at the time, that was one of the only ways that I knew uh, how to make money outside of a job. So it really changed my life. And I'm sorry, it's very cold out here. So if I stop and stutter, it's that's why. <laughs> um, but it changed my life. But then I started learning how to flip other things. So, and this kind of ties into my mini streams method a little bit. So I started learning how to flip phones first, right? But then I learned how to flip game consoles, MacBooks, iPads, smartwatches, cameras, and things like that. So my earning capacity increased by default because I added things to it. And I learned that there are multiple ways to make money inside of the reselling space. Now, let me take this a step further. Through reselling, I was able to learn paid advertising. Now, that right there absolutely changed the game for me. When I learned how to utilize paid advertising to bring me more leads, to make me more money, that was another skill set that I was able to grab and increase my earning capacity once again. Because then I started taking on clients for a monthly fee. That's an increased earning capacity, okay? So what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm stacking these skill sets. And this is what you should be looking at. You shouldn't, like, obviously go in to make money, right? That's obviously the big benefit. But what I want you guys to start realizing is start learning that these skills that you're learning, you'll be able to stack them in the future. And what that'll do is it will stack your earning capacity as well. So now... Um, once I learned paid advertising, I started looking into other things, right? I started looking into the online space and things like that. And I took on quite a few different clients. At one time I had about 20 total clients, um, under my agency while I was running my reselling business at the same time. Um, you know, I was doing close to 10 K profit a month at that point. So my earning capacity had gone up massively, way up massively. So then I, you know, I, I kept going, right? I kept learning. 
and I kept stacking these skills. The next skill that I learned after marketing was how to monetize Facebook groups. And boy, did the game change after that. <laughs> Woo! Uh, many of you guys know I'm huge on Facebook groups, but that was a skill that I learned and that increased my earning capacity by, I would probably say 75%. Because now that's how, actually how I make most of my group, my money is either through groups or affiliate marketing or through different avenues there, right? So I learned that and then I learned software, uh, which is resell deck. So now I have like, I think it's like 12 different forms of income. Um, you know, and they're not all fantastic, right? They're not all amazing, but you know, some of them bring in three to ten dollars a day, right? Three to ten dollars a day is kind of nice, you know, when you're not doing anything to actually earn it, right? Well, I can't say that. I did the work up front, but um, there's a big difference between earning money or increasing how much money you earn and your earning capacity. So I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Learn to stack skills and not dollar bills. Because if you learn the skills, the bills will follow. Trust me, they just will. It's, people want people that have skills. You will be hired if you have skills, okay? And sometimes you can be hired for a lot of money because you know a certain skill. If you know Facebook ads, you, that's a skill set that you can be paid for, okay? So, stack skills, boys and girls, not dollar bills. The bills will come once you stack those skills. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoy this video. See you guys later.